I have told so many reloading stories. In fact, I've covered some of the same topics over and over and over. Gavin Gear here from UltimateReloader.com and Gavin Tube. I'll have to say, when something new comes along, a new technique, a new tool, I get pretty excited and I am excited about this story. That's right, I'm talking about the Forster bushing bump die. Now, normally for precision reloading, when you're talking about sizing, you have two distinct options. You can full length size, where you size the body, you bump the shoulder and you reduce neck diameter, or if you've fire formed the brass in a match rifle, you might consider neck only sizing. So we retain the fire formed dimensions of the brass specific to the chamber in the firearm we're gonna shoot it in. We reduce neck diameter to get proper bullet tension when we're seating our bullets. But sometimes it's a little hard to chamber around. And wouldn't it be nice if we could maintain body fire forming proportions and dimensions, but we could control neck tension precisely with the bushing and we could also precisely bump the shoulder for easy chambering. Well, that is exactly what the bushing bump die does and allows you to do. Let's see how it works. So the first thing we need to know is what diameter bushing we're gonna use. And to do that, we need to first measure case neck thickness. I'm using a ball micrometer, RCBS unit here, and some Starline once fired 6.5 Creedmoor brass that we're gonna be sizing. Looks like we're at 14, yeah. It's varying just over and under 14. So I'm gonna call that 14. And then I'm gonna use my new eye gauging easy data mic, digital micrometer. This is gonna give us 10th level. Okay, so 263.9, I expected this to be 264. So we'll call that 264. Let's go to our pen and paper and figure this out. So let me walk through the math here. What we're really calculating here is the bullet diameter plus two times the neck thickness and then we're subtracting two thousandths of an inch. That's gonna give us about a thousandth of spring back, which means we're gonna size a thousandth under for that much press fit. So, our wall is 14, two times that is 28. The bullet is 264. So we add 264 plus 28 minus two gives us 290. The bushings that I have are 290, that's a good sign, I have 292, and I have 288. So I have 2,000 increments, we've got 290 right on, so let's install that bushing in the die. Assembly is really simple with just a little bit of attention to detail. First, you'll notice that there's a chamfer here on the bushing itself. We've got the 290, that's good. We drop that chamfer in, face first, into the die, and then we take the spindle that has the decapper on it, insert that, making sure that we've got the lock ring all the way back. You can see that you can move that. And then we just screw the spindle down until it contacts the bushing. You can feel a very definite stop there. Back it off an eighth of a turn just to give it a tiny bit of float so that that bushing can self-center. That's it. Next, we wanna insert the die into the press and then raise the ram, hold the lock ring, I like it oriented like this so that we can get the Allen key in there to tighten the lock ring. All right, so I'm basically bottomed out there. I'm gonna raise the ram slightly, give it just a little bit of cam over. Okay, now I'm gonna tighten the lock ring so that we can preserve this setting. Now, what we can do is we can actually lift and lower the die in order to slightly change the amount of bushing bump, but first we need to check to see where we're at. In order to measure shoulder bump, we're gonna take a previously fired case. We're gonna insert it into a set of digital calibers. Of, these are eye gauging origin cows, zero to six inch. Outfitted with a Hornady Headspace Comparator Kit. With slight pressure and with a little bit of rocking and rotating, we're gonna zero this out. Now we size the case and then we'll measure again. I put a slight film of Forrester lube on the neck. I'm gonna size and D-prime there. Now we can check our bump back into the headspace comparator with our calipers and we can see we're about negative two thousandths of an inch. If we wanted a little bit less we could raise the die just a little bit. It's that easy to set up the bushing bump die and again if we wanted less bump we just raise the die. If we want more bump we can add a little bit more cam over and if we want 
different neck tension. We might have different brass neck thickness, or we might have a little bit of a different bullet, or just we want a little bit more or less tension, we use a different bushing. Bushings are available in many different sizes. I got a set of three here that covered me right in the middle. I can go on either side, which is great. So if you want more control over your precision sizing, try the Forrester Bushing Bump die. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to support Ultimate Reloader, you can get one of these cool shirts at the Ultimate Reloader store, ultimatereloader.com slash store. And if you don't want to miss any of the action here on GavinTube, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Make sure you turn on notifications. Until next time, happy shooting and happy reloading.